Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and we've been carrying on with our modded characters getting through. We did two times over as Tainted Mastema last and kind of a rough time with him. We've been we've been having a hard time but this time we're going to jump in as... I don't know who I want to jump in as to be honest. Maybe I'll just go as regular Job for now and see what we have to unlock as him because I'm sure we have quite a few bits still left with him. Um, in fact, we don't have that much. Uh, we got Mega Satan to go for and uh greedier so we can try and do mega satan here and wow do you know what no <laughs> let's try and do greed that start has has put me off an immense amount so let's try and do greed and book of despair on this mode seems like it'll be really really good anyways so i'm happy with that let's see what we end up getting from this um fire rate down is actually fine with this character i'm, I'm reasonably okay with that marked is also a lot of fun so i'll probably take that uh, we get a health down as well. I think overall that wasn't terrible. But yeah, the fire rate down is not particularly that bad considering our book gives us a good amount of fire rate back. And we can keep using our book wave on wave on wave. Which makes it so much goddamn better. Um, so we'll, we'll try and do that. As you can see, it, it is going to have multiplicative effects. So in greed mode, this character is actually pretty amazing. Do always got to remember that fighting actual greed is uh, a little more tricky um, because we don't get to use it multiple times. As for the question of the day, I just came back from a wedding that I went to over the weekend. So what was the last like big event you went to? Big family event. What was the last one? How was it? Did you enjoy yourself? Did you not? Give me the deets. I'd be interested to know. But yeah, I went to, went to a wedding. It was my... Um, my girlfriend's uh, uncles, uncles, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> um, and uh, oh god, it was pretty good, it was pretty good, they had a hog roast after as well, which was genuinely one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life, and they had like a full tray of uh, pork crackling just on the side to like have it as much as you want, the best pork crackling I've ever had in my entire life, it was just, oh absolutely immense i was just so happy and they gave you such a massive healthy portion too and also it was a um open bar tab as well so got to drink quite a bit and eat quite a lot i was very very happy look at our good old 12 fire right here this is what we want to see this is what we want to see imagine this with even more damage baby it could be so crazy I mean, it already is pretty crazy, but it could be more crazy. Yeah, we're going to do all the waves in one go here, because we don't want to lose our fire rate bonus. We're doing everything at once. Let's save our next uh, usage of our space bar, though, for the, uh, the next floor. There's no point using it yet. Just careful if these guys smash into each other. They will shoot some shots at us. Luckily, it's not super likely that they do that, to be honest. It's pretty easy to avoid, but still has to be wary of it, nonetheless. We're not going to go Devil Deal here, of course. We always go Angel. Uh, I'm definitely taking Marked, because it seems hilarious. Um, I will buy a key. And I think I'll hold off for now, till the next floor. It's not very good, but it's not as detrimental as it normally is, so I'm going to take it. Balls of Steel is very nice here. Um... Yeah, it's not as detrimental as it normally is because it's going to allow us to, uh... It's going to allow us to get rid of some rocks that would otherwise be a bit problematic, I guess. Crack that open. Right, down to the next floor. But yeah, Samson's chain, not the best. Not the best. But yeah, Marked is just kind of funky. I like Marked. I think it's a... a it's it's not even a bad item. It's a little bit bad. It's just... It's, 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 kind, of, it's kind of funky. Shot speed is kind of nice here. Um... Do, 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 do. A key there. Is that worth a soul heart? I'm going to say yes it is. Saves us some money. Our shop isn't that good here, so I'm going to... Off the bat, I'm going to re-roll it. And we get black hole, which isn't that good either. Go for another re-roll here. Okay, smooth stone is fantastic for us. I'll definitely be taking that. Let's check what we've got going on in here. Cute baby. Not all that great, but he is... He is a good lad, so I can't... I can't fault him too much. Yeah, the thing we're marked is the fire rate bonus we get from it is pretty inconsequential overall. But I think it'll be good to have against uh, the big man himself. I, I really don't mind marked as an item. Loads of people hate it, but... I think since it got changed in Repentance, it's it's a lot better than it was. A lot, lot better. 
Okay, you guys... I was just about to say, I don't know what you guys are going to do without a hearse to jump into, but apparently just lunge towards me at incredible speeds. But you can see how much our fire rate scaling is, like, quickened by the, the marked... Uh, the marked pickup, because now we're on almost the exact same fire rate we were on last time, in way less uses of our book. We're on like two or three less uses of our book this time round, and it's we're already making our way up there. Okay, gotta be a little careful here. You could die, big fella. Thank you. Okay, not too bad. I definitely want more shot speed up as well if I can get it, because that's going to make marks way more accurate in terms of following where I'm actually firing. Where are you going? Not too bad. Of course, we carry on with this, because there's no point restarting. But yeah, but this time we're up to 14 fire rate after killing the, uh, the, the normal waves, whereas last time we're up to 12, so that's even better than before. We're in, we're in soy milk territory now, baby. Which is always nice. We'll hopefully get an angel deal here as well. And for the most part, this guy should be fairly easy to avoid. Red one is always a little bit more difficult, but I'm going to pretend it's not. Only one chub. Okay, that is very easy for us. Very easy indeed. Take out those when I can. And take a nice big stream of tears to that guy's face. Beautiful. Angel deal. Thank you. And in here we get... Ooh, baby, okay. We're probably going to take Angel Wing here. <laughs> it just seems like the, the go-to one because we gain piercing stuff out of it. We also gain shot speed, as I was just saying that I needed out of that as well. So we'll definitely take Smooth Stone here. I'm going to take one of the... No, I'll take two of those. We'll get enough for a key on the next floor and continue down. But so far, I'd say this is a pretty good setup. Um, having the Angel Wings is kind of nice. We'll end up firing the, the double tap ability, sort of, randomly here. What's going on in here? That's very good stuff, although the tier size down is a little not great. But overall, not terrible. Buy the key straight off the bat here. I'll blow you two up, why not? Ah, bugger. Not great shop again here. And stitches, unfortunately, is pretty useless for us. Uh, mainly because there is... Literally no way in hell that I'm ever giving up this active item. It's so goddamn good. Ow. Very bad hit by me there. So, as I said as well, we do now have, um... We do now have Smooth Stone, which Smooth Stone basically makes so that any boss that's over a certain amount of HP, or any enemy that's over a certain amount of HP, you deal 1.5 damage to. It's very, very good. Because obviously there's a lot of bosses that we come across in this mode, um, in general. And uh, the boss, the final boss, is also affected by that as well, so it's a lot of extra damage to big bosses. Okay, I'm having a really hard time aiming at this little ghosty because he's moving so goddamn much. There you go. I'm having quite a hard time with the enemies we've got here, though, to be honest. Yeah, felt that one about to come in. I need to get rid of this little shithead before he starts throwing so much poop at me that I can't handle it. She was already getting dangerously close to doing. Also, Ghosty, you need to go as well. You've been a pain in my ass since the start. I don't know why he decided to spawn some blue, uh, some black flies here. That's kind of weird. Oh, dude. Take the shots. Thank you. These guys are also annoying. Dude, do you know what's more annoying right now? Is the absolute insanity of the knockback that we are uh, putting forth. I don't want to knock enemies back this far. Right. One last usage. Up to 15 fire rate this time around. Oh my god, this guy's going to be a nightmare if he keeps moving. Nope, he's just going to walk into that spiked block and instantly kill himself. Unexpected, but rather useful for us. Ow. Need to kill this guy. Sadly, that doesn't uh, work with our marked. Dude, the knockback is so annoying right now. 
Devil deal? That's unfortunate. There's no way I'm taking a devil deal with this current HP. I think, honestly, I'm going to skip out on the shop this floor because it was pretty dookie. I'm just going to go down to the next floor. Here we go, here we go again. And we'll see what this shop holds for us. I don't know how to feel about this run so far. It's got some good parts to it, but it is also a little risky. I'm, I'm a little annoyed that we keep getting such, such meh shops. And our item rooms have been pretty meh as well, to be honest. Nice to have more HP, but doesn't really do much for us. Yeah, Max was definitely a mistake, but I don't care. Right. Get these goddamn masks out of the way. How did I not get hit there? Wow. I think our small tier size has really screwed us as well from taking the lemon item. Like, having this tiny tier size is clearly proving to be problematic for us. So many hearts. Get out of here. Okay, that was good. Although it didn't do as much damage as I would have thought. Like, it killed a decent amount of things, but it didn't kill very quickly is all. Having a large room is also more difficult with Max. You've got more space for your reticle to move around. So if it's too far away from you, it can take a really long time to do a full turn sort of thing. Oh, God. I was a champion as well that I got hit by. God damn it. Fifteen fire out once again here. Oh, you bugger off. It's crazy to have this sort of fire rate. And boss time. That was a reforming enemy that re had the reformed champion, so it double reformed. Yeah, this is where the knockback is really annoying. This is where the piercing is really good. I'm just going to kind of leave you to it, my guy. And have my infinite laser of feathers annihilating everything. This is just such an interesting run right now. I trust our shops are a little bit better. And I hope we get an angel deal here as well. I'm really annoyed if I get another devil deal. Honestly, if I get another devil deal at this point, I'm just going to take it. Because I need power. I need something. Otherwise, this run's going to fall off pretty fast. What I really need is something that's going to give me some AoE. So that I don't have to constantly hit aim directly at enemies. Not very happy about that hit. That was a very stupid hit. When there's this many uh, dudes about, it's kind of tricky. Dude, the knockback is so frustrating right now. Making it so hard to stay on target. There's our angel deal, baby. Come on, please be good. Please be good. That certainly helps. That certainly helps. That's a lot of damage. And homing means we no longer have to be as careful about our aim. So we've we've basically got what we wished for, really, at the end of the day. Pretty happy. <laughs> the game was feeling a little sorry for me there. And it said, hey, don't worry. No woman, no cry. 30% chance to block any red heart damage. Prevents the devil uh, damage penalty devil deal chance. Eh, not really interesting for me. Try and reroll into something good again here. Not is pretty good. I'll take not. Molten dive is good, but not the best here. Hot bombs is not good for us. Safety pin is more shot speed, so I'm happy about that. Although, actually, more shot speed is probably is not as good with herming, so... Not as big of a deal. But now we've got crazy good damage, and yeah, this is this is going to be nutty. The Herming Feathers will do their, do their best and do our bidding. Beautiful stuff. Once our fire rate starts getting into the, like, tens, it's going to get real insane how quickly we kill stuff.
I'm loving it already. I mean, the damage we're outputting already is nuts. We're on to 10.95 now. Yeah, just that assist of it herming in is so nice. Oh my god, yes. Beautiful. I just love the herming feathers, it looks so good. And we just gotta get this bad boy. Ugh, this thing's gonna be annoying because it moves so quickly. There yeah, we got it. And we'll take care of you as the last little thing. I did get hit by a bomb there, but... Oh, there's two of you, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the hell, I just killed you, didn't I? No, there is two of them, that's why. Right, another angel deal. Wow. <laughs> Sacred Heart followed straight up by Immaculate Heart. Good stuff. Shop, are you are you giving us anything good here? Not really. I'll go for a bit of a reroll here. Oh, come on. Don't take the piss. Oh, dude. What a waste. Technology with, with Herming is just so insanely good that I have to take this, even though it does kind of ruin things a little bit. We no longer do the feathers. I would have a key for that. It's okay though. I think I think technology is better because it's just able to hit more things more easily, and it makes marks less of a problem too. No reroll on this floor. No reroll on this floor is always a sucker. Though it's very annoying. I'm gonna buy a bunch of cards and just try and get something that's really good for the boss. Just make sure we've got an actual charge left for the boss fight. We are still firing feathers as well from Immaculate Heart, which is nice. Good, good. Right, one more use and then we'll leave it. Stand in the corner here and aim diagonal. We'll hit everything, apart from these hands, goddammit. One enemy that means this, this tactic doesn't work. Oh god. Four times monstrous. But this run really turned itself around very quickly, didn't it? Very quickly indeed. And last angel deal, maybe? Come on. Oh, I dropped a soul heart there. Don't know what that was from. I guess Gimpy from Milk of Baphomet? I guess. We got a devil deal here. Unfortunately, nothing I really want as well, so that's a bit of a shame. But we're going to fish for a card here uh, that's going to help us out. And that's our best bet with the remaining money we have. Tower's not very good. Wheel of Fortune's whatever. Stars is whatever. Death is whatever. Come on now. Magician, we've already got Herming. Hanged Man, oh, come on now. Stars, oh, this is... Okay, Lovers is at least some HP, but that, that was a little bit upsetting to not get a Strength card or anything that gives us damage. Right, down we go. Good. Okay, so we're up to 6 point... 6.38 damage is not terrible. It's not what I'd hope for. I wanted to get up to 10 fire rate, but 6.38 is pretty good. I mean, luckily this guy's going to go down quick, regardless with the setup. It'll be very hard for him to do much. Try and grab the coin so he can't. And luckily as well, with, with technology, you barely have to even aim at him for it to hit. But you can see we're not actually doing that much damage even with the, the smooth stone working in our favour. It's not it's not going crazy fast. Like it's it's reasonably quick, it's just not crazy. We just stand here and let everything die to our lasers. 
up again. Second phase should go a lot, lot quicker. We do have hot bombs as well if we want to try and use those. They're a little harder to use. I finally got hit. Ooh, nice. Milka Baphomet gave us the intruder. That's a pretty good one to get because that's a permanent thing throughout the entire fight now of that thing jumping around and shooting things. Now, I know the damage it puts out isn't that strong compared to what we're doing, but it's still nice, right? A little bit of extra Milka Baphomet helping us out. I like Milky Baphomet as an item. It's cool. The HP up is always nice for in the boss pool, but random on-hit effects is just kind of fun. Especially considering there's a small chance it could kind of screw you. <laughs> I, don't, there's, I don't think there's many on-hit effects that could screw you that hard, but I'm sure there's a few. Like if cracked dice is in there and stuff, then it could be a little spooky. If it triggered cracked dice and then triggered the D4. Okay, so as I said... Second phase here should be a lot quicker because he just has a lot less HP. Just got to stay safe. Take him out from a distance. I don't even know what the job unlock will be here, to be honest. I've not even thought about what I'm unlocking right now. I'm just going for it because I can. Oh, God, the rock. The rock smash got me. We only took half damage on that. Maybe the rock smash does, doesn't do full damage. I'm not going to take a heart until I take another hit. There you go. I took another hit straight away. That's why the Lover's card is kind of useful. Would have preferred, like I said, a Strength card or Empress or Devil or something that's going to give us some damage, but it is what it is. Devil would have been really good because we would have gained like 4 or 5 damage off of that because of uh, Sacred Heart. Don't know why he's only dealing half heart damage right now. Maybe I have an item that's halving his damage, but... I thought normally you'd see this guy... Uh, don't don't steal that coin. I thought normally you'd see this guy um, doing full heart damage. But either way, we're having a good time nonetheless. And we're blasting our way through this run. It's a good little greed, bro greed mode run indeed when you get Sacred Heart. And Sacred Heart technology is just one of those ones that's just like so fun. Oh, we get 5G. Okay. 5G is kind of interesting. We also get Golden Ring. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. I um, hope you guys did enjoy that one, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.